selling the country. Mm. Remember a guy called Benedict Arnold? There's a statue of him in Massachusetts. Well, not a full statue. It's a statue of Benedict Arnold, says on the statue, of his leg. He gave that to, for the American Revolution. The rest of him went to England. One of the things that very likely you're not going to be seeing is a bust of um, Donald Trump in the in Congress, the Capitol building. I don't think so. <laughs> For some reason, January 6th kind of like said, no, 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 you're not going to have that. Any statue going to go up with Donald Trump? I don't really think so. He might be the statuist president around. And where would his presidential library be? Why, there's one, only one place. Florida. In his club. Why? It seems that was, that's where all his papers are. Well, not, not all of them. Now, we can say there's anything that he did during his, his regime um, is now sitting in Congress somewhere, being counted, being read, being sealed, being sealed. Uh-huh. Well, hey, you know, dear old Donald, as president, he could do anything he wanted, and he did. Thank God he didn't start World War III. Oh, that's right. Um, they wouldn't let him see the football. <laughs> yes, it's in this case. Can I see it? No, you can't see it. But I'm the president. That doesn't make any difference. I don't take orders from you. I take orders from the Pentagon, and I don't show it to this thing, to that thing. Well, I can get Secret Service. Secret Service won't do it. Oh, by the way, I carry a gun. Anybody touches this, I shoot them. And I can shoot people, Mr. President. And I'm quite sure there's a lot of Republicans in Congress who like to see Donald Trump just go away. Anywhere. Anywhere just go away. They're going to they're going to, they're really afraid that Donald Trump is going to take him down. When he, when he goes in front of a grand jury and he's going to go in front of a grand jury and he's going to ask some questions and he's going to sit there and blab away. I'm the president. I could do that. You took, you took state secrets with you. You can't do that. Oh, I'm the president. I can do anything I want. Why, I dis disclassified them when I left the White House. That's not the way it works, sir. Well, I would say in classified material, I've read classified material in companies, you know, especially when you're getting a couple of jobs or a DOD, you read this manual and how this is going to work, and you take the manual, you close it up that thing, and you hand it to a guy, security guy, and he puts it back in the vault, and whatever you read, you don't discuss it, you don't tell your wife, you don't tell your children, you don't tell your friends, and you don't tell your colleagues what you're doing. You have a job like that? Hmm? I have. Hmm? And I work for DOD. And I work for big companies. You don't tell people what you're doing. And you don't take things home with you. <clears throat> if you're in the military service, all right, you go to the uh, base library and you pull out a field manual, and you read the field manual. Then you take out a, a technical manual and read that. And then you go a couple steps later. Let's say you're, you're a tank repair man. Well, you get a, 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 a manual on tank repair, right? But you don't take it off base, period. It is concerned stealing government property. That is a piece of government property. And Donald Trump had boxes of it. Oh, my God. And I will say that thing. If you work for a big bank, you don't sit there and discuss at the local bar anything about the big bank, even sometimes with your colleagues. Hey, Joe, what are you doing? Uh, my job. What are you doing? Your job. 
Can I look? No, you can't. Can I look on you? No, you can't. Right. And if you're a defense contractor, there's a lot of defense contractors out there with a lot of employees who follow the rules. You don't take it home with you and you don't make copies of it. Donald Trump seemed to have forgotten that as president. And he had boxes of it in his house. In his club, not his house, Mario Largo is a club. He just happens to own it, but he has a house on it. And it turns out to be is his storage facilities wasn't behind a big, thick, metal, thick metal door. It was a little locker room with a little padlock on it. That anybody coming along would, could pull that off and read the content or steal them all. Why was he there with all those files? I'm going to ask that question. Why did he have boxes of stuff? You know, if he wanted maybe one or two pages of something saying this is top secret, eyes only, no, uh -huh. not to be shown by to anybody else. But he had a habit of blabbing. Well, he's sitting down there, he's, he's telling people about state secrets. Sitting with foreign governments, opening his mouth about state secrets. Oh, good. Benedict Garno has a leg sitting in Massachusetts. Oh. Of course, all the congressmen are sitting here Oh, we're going to go for bat for our president because if we don't, we don't get elected office. You mean the president who stole all the state secrets? Because as a citizen, the day he was no longer president, he stole the state secrets. But he disclassified them. That's not how it works, guy. As I said, the manual on the base that you're on to re repair the tank that you're going to work on doesn't leave the base. If it leaves the base in your possession, it's a stolen piece of property. It doesn't make any difference. The commander of the base cannot give you the permission to take that manual off the base. The FBI did their job. Did the FBI want to go in there? The guy had boxes of classified information. What is Donald Trump going to do with it? Well, it's in a storage locker here, over here, over there. It's sitting on his nightstand. Oh, yeah? Where else is it sitting? And they went through everything. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, yes, they can. The FBI walks in your house. You don't say anything. Donald, you know what the fifth is? Take the fifth. Don't sit there and blab. Take the fifth. The best thing that Donald Trump can do is keep his m mouth shut. What's the second best thing? Take the fifth. What's the third best thing? Blame it on someone else. Denounce the FBI as being evil. You have a lot of Republicans saying, oh, we got to do something about the FBI. Like what? Huh? Like what? Maybe they can get the Supreme Court justices, since they a majority of them are Republicans, to give Donald Trump a, a free pass. Mm hmm I would think Donald Trump better have a location out of the country. Maybe he can have other countries will accept them in. No, nah, they don't want him. But he has a lot of money. Not by uh, looking at his tax logs. But he has a lot of money. Hmm. And if he sold those records, the classified information, he would have a lot more money. <clears throat> but I would almost guarantee you any, any country that would get that stuff would have called the uh, Interpol, the FBI, and their local newspapers and said, hey, look what Donald Trump sold us. Wow. 
Well, I would relate this to a story about a friend who had a son who got pulled over by the police. They found a joint uh, in his glove compartment. But that's only for my own personal smoking. Oh. And then he opened the trunk and found a kilo of pot. Hmm. What do we have here? Hmm. They found Donald with a kilo of pot. Ouch. Ouch.